Damn, <laughs> dude. <laughs> dude, step back and look at that. Like. That is insanely different, dude. Yeah, dude. dude that's so much different, dude. Dude, the, the black wheels with the black fenders, dude, it's just. It looks perfect that way, dude. <laughs> Dude, that looks so nice, man. They didn't even trim that much. Dude, it's it's honestly, I think they... Did they, like, bolt that bumper back into place? Yeah, dude. Nice, they dude. Everything. They use, like, machines for <laughs> putting up the bumper, dude. Doesn't that look so much better? I was like, holy yeah, crap, dude. I took the bumper, too. What if they're like, we did everything for free, but to fix the bumper, it's gonna be 500. Dude, like, that looks so good. Yeah. That looks so much better. <laughs> <laughs> so you mentioned before that you got suspension stuff done. What are all the things that you got done with that? So, right front lower ball joint, uh, left front lower ball joint. Left front shock, right front shock. Uh, Pitman arm, idle and idle arm. Damn, dude. So how's the ride with all the new suspension components? Way smoother, dude. I went over to tra I went over train tracks and before it was like going over in a tank, over like a small car. Yeah. But now it's like smooth. Nice, dude. Also found out that that cop that pulled me over was just wrong, straight up wrong, that I needed emissions because this truck weighs 9,200 pounds and in Pennsylvania that thing down. So you're going to run a straight pipe? No, nah, it's visual apparently. Uh. But I could haul out the cat and they would never know. Haul out the muffler. Haul out the muffler. Dude, that is awesome, man. All I gotta do <laughs> is paint this black. Yeah. And this, because it's fading. I get a new Chevy emblem because it looks like shit. But, Good, but so did you notice anything like, with like, gear shifting a lot more or anything like that? No, now they have the bigger tires? The Speedo is even the same. Really? I followed my mom, I had her drive in front of me. And the speedo's the same and everything, dude. Damn, dude. I know, it's weird. There's my brother back again. Driving for the first time in his life. He didn't wreck. <laughs> they had to cut this up a little bit. And this in the back, a little piece there, and then cut this down. And pretty much if you're leveled with well, a 2500, you fit 35s, like just cutting some plastic. That's it. And zero offset wheels. Yeah. I do. They didn't even have to touch any of this. Dude, that's yeah. awesome. They didn't have to touch any of the metal. Just plastic cutting. It's not like you're gonna ever notice any of these things. Really, like you're not gonna really notice that. The only thing is that, and I don't really care because yeah. I think it looks good. I think it looks fine. So that's how they should come stock. Meanwhile, the guy that I bought the tires from said that I should follow this line and cut the whole bumper off. <laughs> that would look retarded. Don't ever do that. Ever. <laughs> in your life. Because then, it would just be like a black fender flare with nothing underneath it at all. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you're... If, I guess if you wanted to fit like 40s. Yeah, then that would be fine. <laughs> Damn, dude. So the tires passed, dude. I told you, man. Actually, they inspected it with these on. Are you serious? Because apparently, 35s are too big for this truck to be inspected with. What? I guess. I don't. I don't see how that works. Tires are tires, dude. Yeah, I know. And this is this is a 2500. Like, what what is 35s for then? Yeah, I know. It almost looks stock. Not really. But, <laughs> <laughs> but still, it doesn't look. People were saying that it was going to look stupid just being leveled, but I think it looks good. Yeah. I think it looks really good. 
I think you always needed some more tire in there, won't you? Oh, yeah. When you had the they look so small, small ones. They look so small. Like, stupid small. They do stick out a little bit. Yeah, I don't know how they leveled it, but... It it's might, probably a it spacer be somewhere. Good. You're, you're going to get wheel spacers in the back. Oh, you're lucky, man. You don't have to re-gear. And obviously, from what you said, you definitely have the 373 three gear ratio, and I have the 342. And I know if I threw 35s on, going up that hill right down the road there, going up to Hess, I would, I would probably sh shift gears two or three times. Well, that's the thing. I usually don't accelerate going up hills either. I usually wait until I downshift, and that's never a good idea. Yeah, my stock wheels came with, like, a little tool but for the, for the caps, but other than that, I did not get... Like, this is actually nice, dude. It's heavy, and you can tell that it's built nicely. Yeah, it extends. Huh. That's awesome, dude. Here we go. Roll down the window for you. So, honestly, I think I kind of remember like bouncing around and stuff just regular road, like and even with mud tires. Dude, this is a place, man. How long do you think you needed all those parts for? Uh, probably about six months. Damn, dude. So, yeah, that might have been within the time of when I. They said that it was really bad. That's exactly what the shop said. They said that I really needed that. So. Yeah, there's like almost no play in my steering wheel at all now. Do you remember that? The test yeah, drive that you took it on? There's a little bit of play. Yeah. There's almost none there. See it turn. Haven't you been to shops for four six months? Why didn't any of those shops ever seen it? I haven't been. Yeah, pretty good, dude. 